Listen, Rabble. Making allowance for the weight, according to my reckoning, Arab boy ran that trial ten seconds faster than the horse that won the gold cup last year. That's why we've got to get our money on before the news leaks out. Why? Because the price will drop like a stone when it does. Don't you know anything about racing? Not much. But it's time you did it, your age. Come on, kids, get your lolly together and we'll shove it onto our boy, okay? Here we go! I was not Flash Harry! fortune on that, are you? How about our gin money, Harry? How about Oh, no, no, I haven't flogged it yet. I mean, ain't everyone who likes homemade gin. Besides, there's a lot of good stuff on the market nowadays. I've just thought of something. What about the hundred quid fetter mask got? I haven't got it. Miss Fritten has. Well, suppose not we could get it off her. Would you lend it to us? It's in a good course, Fatty. She'd never part with it. Why not? It's your lard, isn't it? Why don't you gang up and go and put the screws on the old custard? Yeah! <laughs> So there you are at last. Just because I was able to ward off the tradespeople with something on account, you think you can forget all about it? Miss Holland, I pay you to attend to my accounts. Should you kindly get up out of my chair? <laughs> One really can't call anything one's own in this place. You're right there. We've got 400 pounds in the bank and we owe 4,000. What? <laughs> Come in. Can we see you a minute, Miss Fritton, please? Hmm? Oh. Yes, 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 I suppose so, if you... if you must. Can I have my pocket money, please? Why, whatever for, Fatima? Because it's hers. Do you have to bring your friends with you to... to ask for your pocket money? But they want to borrow some, don't you? But borrowing is against the rules. But we'll pay it back on Thursday when the G wins. The G? You mean that you want to borrow Fatima's money to put upon a horse? It's her dad's horse. The very idea of asking me for money to gamble upon racehorses. It isn't gambling. Arabo's a stone-cold certainty. It can't We lose. watched the trial this morning. He did the gold cup distance in 6 minutes 12 seconds. Carrying 12 and something. That's the record. And the price is 10 to 1 if we get on now. If we can make up 50 quid, we'll get 500 back on Thursday. Girls, girls, girls. You're making me blench. Off to your rooms at once, at but once. But Miss Fritton, it's an investment. At once, at once, do you hear? Four hundred pounds. Come again? Four hundred pounds, and I should want ten to one. What a dime, eh? What a dime! It just shows you how you can be wrong about people, doesn't it, eh? It just shows you. Four hundred smackers, eh? Four hundred smackers. Just fence. They jump that neck and neck. There are only two horses in it now. Arab boy's taking the lead with only fifty yards to go. It's Arab boy from Blue Prince. Arab boy's won the Cheltenham Gold Cup. After this, I shouldn't dream of Arab staying here another hour. I should think not after what we've witnessed today. I was horrified. Quite you horrified. You be ashamed of yourself. I shudder when I think of what poor Mona has suffered. It's one Arab boy. It's one. Really, Harry? Oh, in that case, ladies and gentlemen, courtesy forbids me to tell you exactly why you can send your daughters. Will you excuse me? Come with me, Harry. I think we have an appointment with Mr. Elf. Yeah, no river era for him this year, I... Right? 